So hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video we'll cover this amazing lab so first of all click on start lab and open the console incognito window now if you're new to this channel do like the video and subscribe the channel if you get this kind of error do not worry just restart the lab again and if you want to enable this yellow check my progress bar if you are doing it as a part of any arcade games or any event games then you have to just check the video description how to enable check my progress i have linked the video also now just wait for the lab to start and if you see this kind of time like 8 minutes 7 minutes or 5 minutes you have to just wait for this minute to get completed and then you'll be able to access the lab so just wait lab start it will look like this you have to just open the console incognito window and then you have to just start with the cloud share let me show you how you have to do do not worry everything will be covered in this video is that many of you are facing issue on this part basically we are getting 95 out of 100 so we'll cover this thing so from the search box you have to just come over here and just type logging okay just type logging or select the log explorer here basically we have to just create one thing can you guess what we have to create wait for it to get fully load remove the unwanted pop-up first of all come over here we have to create log based matrix okay so you have to just come down over here yes this one in configure section you have to just click on it create metric it will be counter type and for all these details okay you have to just come to the github repo in the description i've shared just select this and in the filter just add this thing now this is the main thing basically this was a simple thing which we had to do now you have to just cross verify all things are available over here you have to just click on create okay you can see it we don't have to create alerting policy because it will be created with our github id only so do not worry about it so here once it is done you have to just come back again and click on create once it is created we will just activate the cloud shell so just activate the cloud shell now like this you have to just click on continue and then authorize yourself to click on continue authorize now let me increase the font size now in the description box i've shared the repository you have to just select it paste over here now here basically we have to update the values also do not worry about it so first thing is cluster name come to the lab instruction here in the task number one it is mentioned okay here you have to make sure you are exporting correct value it will be different for you so export accordingly as i am showing so make sure there is no extra space copy the highlighted part paste over here hit enter now zone here you can see it's europe west a for a in your case it might be us central one us east one like this you have to copy and paste make sure there is no extra space if you get any error you have to just read on the github command and export the values again okay the namespace is here after that what we have to do let me see come down over here yes here is the repository just copy the name carefully paste over here hit enter now timing so here the interval might be different for you so you have to just select the interval as per the lab instruction okay so in my case it might be 50 second in your case it might be 30 second 
or even less also so if you are unable to find just use ctrl f and find the interval like this paste over here hit enter another service name so service name is also available over here come down you can just search it like this here you can see this is the service name you can just use ctrl f to find the name value now hit enter now this will take at least 5 to 10 minutes and once it's done we'll be done with the lab guys and if you get any kind of error like resource limit existed or no resources found then you have to just restart the lab and try again okay do not worry about it and if you get a normal error just re-export the correct values because i think there might be some exporting values issues only you can ignore this error because we have created this thing manually only now just check the score and if you are unable to see the score just refresh the browser window where you can see we got the score